Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, we're gonna try to recreate uh, recreate something like this. Basically, uh, the monkey heads are following the cube or this cage, and it's almost a little bit like a uh, motion trail in the way that it works. Um, this is actually not too hard because we have a few uh, nodes that's actually dealing with this. So let's get started. So I'm gonna use this box and I'm just gonna turn it into wires. And I will create a bit of animations. So I have this record on, playback, and just make a simple animation. So keep it simple like that for now. While save as this is trail using action. And we will be using animation nodes for this. This I think this node is quite new, but I don't know. I just found out recently. So there's something called delay actions. And I will be using action from objects as well. And for this, I'm gonna turn off always. I will use frame change to update the node tree. So this is the actions. This is our cube, right? We we want to make motion trails, and the motion trails can be created um, if the object is actually following the trail animation trail of this object. So I will I will use the monkey head. Um, yeah, I will use monkey head, and this monkey head will be animated. Uh, using action okay so action object output so the object is gonna be the monkey and let me try this very quickly so the cube has action animation and by default it has delay of five frames I believe and relative is on action can go there and Suzanne can go there the frame okay we need to plug in frame into these nodes and there's option like generic and transform we're gonna look at that a bit later so you can see the monkey the monkey is now following the action of the box we are not seeing any delay ah okay no way I have to turn on relative in this case because we don't have multiple objects. If we have multiple objects, we can enable relative, I believe. So now you can see monkey head is following the box and it has a bit of delay. We can actually, there's this index. Uh, I think this is actually the offset. but it could also be the action index so I don't know for now we don't need to worry about that we're gonna be using this Susan head um, and instance it so we're gonna need in object instance it okay and we're gonna grab the monkey head this is our master Susan maybe create 10 as a star so we have now 10 instance of Susan's we can hide the master and for the instance we want to perform these actions turn on relative and plug these objects there so suddenly we have uh, some kind of trail already turn on random okay this is pretty cool already uh, see you see in this case the index start index actually have effects maybe related to this relative so let's see if we want to actually offset the monkey slightly so they are not occupying the same space turn on transform and transform there is this offset seems to be you can you can use like a random 
vector and multiple value. I don't know if this actually works. We might actually need to use this offset vector, but a better way if you want to plug something is to tap W and select data input and offset. So apparently you need compose matrix. So you can turn on location and this is multiple value of random vector. Let's make it 10. Plug this there. So now monkey head is slightly offset. Let's make our cage bigger. This is the random vector offset. Okay, monkey head is still following the animations of this guy. So we could actually now perform a new animation. Yeah, okay, make like infinity. So right, it seems to be working, so that's kind of nice. It's a it becomes super simple to create. Um, what's missing here? Perhaps we can randomize this, the start index or we can actually use delay. Um, let's say if we use a number here. Oh, there's an alarm going on. So let's use integer value. Make it like 20. And now we can have as many Susan head as we want. You might notice they are kind of having like a delay that's too even. So you can actually randomize uh, randomize the value of this start index, I think. Or rather using this delay okay randomize this delay this delay is not not accepting multiple value as you can see this is not not half opacity so the way to do it i believe if we use loop so let's save this this is like the basic this is a starting our starting points we want to offset and we want to randomize the delay so we need we need a way to use random number and delay this using index of the instance so where is the objects this guy okay we just hit w here loop through objects and for every objects we're gonna have delay action delay action okay so this should go there okay we got error everywhere this is gonna be our random and let's get rid of this so that's the random offset Let's use random number. Index goes into the seed. This number goes into the delay. So delay can be randomized. And now just a matter of making this work. Offset matrix based on random vector like that okay now we are we are back now you can see the monkey head is still following the animations of this box they are slightly offset in term of delay
and how many objects we have now so this is the loop this is the action oh did i accidentally deleting the instance Object list. Okay, I might actually accidentally delete the instance objects. That's interesting. So let's save this. Okay, cool. So we can have as many Susan head as we want. We can let me make this 10. We can randomize the delay. We can have different scale random vector. Um yeah, so that's actually pretty much what I want to show you. I think the action can be really powerful. In this case, we are only dealing with the transform of the transform animation of this box. Maybe in the future, I don't know uh, if we can just use like like a like a figure animation or any kind of animations. Maybe like a characters sitting down, standing up, go back to sitting down. Um, and if we can do it this way, it's actually can, can be kind of powerful. It's almost like uh, particles, animations, maybe different behavior for each character. But we don't, uh, we don't want to go too far ahead. But um, action uh, in Blender actions normally, if you want to do something like this, maybe you use NLA, nonlinear animations, and then adding slight delay. But being able to do this and kind of offsetting the actions based on just the transform is actually kind of powerful right so let's just save this very quickly so this is the setup so we have 100 instance of the objects they're all following this cube we can change the animation of the cube and it's gonna update and anytime we can actually just bake bake the animation if you like and there you go that's kind of like a motion trails instancing um all done using animation nodes quite simple nodes as well so hopefully you find this interesting let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye